Okay, I'm back for some more. Doo, 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 doo. What were we doing? We were busy being nauseous after all the boomer bile we uh, we uh, ingested, probably. Um, <laughs> check through chat real quick. I know you guys chatted up a storm. I probably won't be able to watch through all of that stuff. Uh, I've seen Kenshi. I know of Kenshi. I've looked into it a little bit. It, uh, yeah. mm. I don't know if I have the time and the attention to put in the Kenshi. Um, currently, I'm trying to learn RimWorld, which has taken up quite a bit of my time. And while Kenshi looks interesting in some ways, I don't know. Um, I don't think I would spend a huge amount of time with it, so we'll see. It's a possibility. All right, so we're back in the dungeon. <laughs> AKA basement. Uh, we got stuffs. We got food. We're okay there. Or hit points are okay. We're going to head back out again, I think. I'm still trying to get some soap. I just want some soap so I can clean these backpacks and rucksacks and not uh, worry about getting an infection. We'll see. Um, hey there, Jerry. Welcome back. Mm hmm. No, <laughs> will not be visiting Dwarf Fortress. I've played Dwarf Fortress many times in the past. I am very familiar with it. I just haven't played it on stream. And uh, it's been probably a couple years since I played it last. But uh, I have no intention or desire to ever play Dwarf Fortress on the channel. So it's commonly recommended. And uh, I know all about it. I just don't plan on trying to keep Cataclysm and Dwarf Fortress uh, cohabitating in my brain simultaneously. Um, there are limits. And that's one of them. I'm just not even going to try. I do not have the time to try to figure out Dwarf Fortress again for like the fifth time. <laughs> and get all up to date on it. And uh, maintain everything else. Cataclysm is my uh, roguelike, super complicated game of choice. And I'm going to stick with it. I'll do the light versions of some other types. Uh, there's several of them that I'm looking at. But uh, nah, no, no Dwarf Fortress. Sorry. I'll let some of the other experts and folks do that one. So where are we going to go from here? We got a uh, nameplate, unfortunately, right there. So the zombies are going to gravitate that direction. That's going to cut us off a bit. We know we've got the triple Mego threat over that way. Um, I think I might just go straight south again, see if I can get back into that other house cleanly and then hit these two. And then kind of make a decision. Things were looking pretty ugly. Out across this street, as you can see from all the horde indicators. So, What's one change or feature you'd like added to CDA? I don't know that I would like one added. I would just like a couple of them to work a little better. <laughs> if I had to pick, it would probably be the NPC system. Um, it's a huge task. I don't... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't envy anybody that takes it on, and I have nothing but sympathy for the folks that look at it and try to do something with it, but uh, I think the NPC system could use a really big kick in the pants to uh, get it upgraded and get it a little more useful. It's just rage-inducingly idiotic at times, and I just can't deal with it, so I don't deal with it often um, and try to do it in small doses, but I think it would be the best thing that the game could add if it could be done in a way that uh, wasn't quite as infuriating. Um, you can have fun with NPCs, but uh, yeah, that's a tough one. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts and a lot of complications involved in the NPC system. So, like I said, my hat's off to what's in there so far, but with knowledge comes, comes contempt, and I just can't deal with those guys a lot of the times. All right, so we've got to go out this way. Get boomered again. Yep, there's the other boomer. And we had other zombies coming. Maybe I'll try to stay out of range of the boomer vial this time. Let him just chase me through the, through the building here. Give him a couple of doors to go through. We'll go out this window here. All right, so where are we? This is the first house I want to get into if I can manage it. No window on this side, unfortunately. Like to see the freeze mechanics addressed? Eh, I don't have a problem with the freeze mechanics. They, in bulk, do what they're intended to do. There's some niche cases that are a little puzzling and aggravating, but given the complexity of the systems, 
I think over time it'll get some more evolutions and some more updates that'll probably, hopefully, iron out a few things. But in large part, I don't really have an issue with it. Alright, Shocker Zombie and Shady's across the way. Far enough, and we still got Drizzle. I think I'll be okay to do this. We'll find out if I am. Skeletal Dog has spotted me. Bad Dog. Um, where are you at, Bad Dog? He's charging across the street. Nothing else has spotted me. Alright, I'm gonna... gonna close that window. We're gonna drop our rucksack. And I'm gonna let him come right at me while I stand back a space to minimize my view. Or anything else seeing me, that is. And I'm going to wait for him. We'll we'll smash him in his dumb skeletal dog face here. <laughs> and then he proceeds to tear me apart. That's hilarious. Oh, and something else is coming. Alright, game. What the hell? I'm getting irritated. It's like six swings in a row. No hits for a super dragon warrior <laughs> with low encumbrance. And he's nibbling me to death. Okay, here's what I want removed from the game. <laughs> I want 17 torso encumbrance to not have a message that says your torso encumbrance throws you off balance. Over and over and over and over again. Bullcrap! <laughs> That's all I needed. One tiny hit on this stupid skeletal dog. Who did I hear out here? Alright, nothing of that steez me. Double shocker zombie still. They've moved their way over a bit. Oh, nope. We did have something close. Acid zombie. And he can see me. <laughs> Are the frozen potato chips and frozen paper breaking your immersion? <laughs> Is your immersion bruised? <laughs> uh, there's about a million things ahead of that little tiny thing that is immersion breaking in Cataclysm. So oh, picking on that particular thing as a, a thing is kind of silly. But whatever. If frozen potato chips irritate you that much, sure, let's fix it. <laughs> All right. Uh, I really hope I don't get a bunch of uh, really bad acid damage here. Ah, crap. More stuff is showing up. This is what I wanted to avoid. Now I've got a chain of stuff coming right at me for no reason. And I've already dropped my backpack. And now I'm worried the shock zombies are going to be coming over this way that I can't see them. If I drop, if I close the door, which I can't do because of the stupid corpse. He created a test character, one with scout and night vision, the other with just night vision. They both have six night vision range. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's causing it. I assume you also had the six uh, six perception like I've got. Um, I'm gonna regret this little setup here. Yep, I knew I'd regret it. Now I've got even more zombies showing up. No grabbing. Ring coat. I'll get one of those later. Don't care. Alright, zombie dog. Get out of the doorway so I can close that thing. Ukulele. Ooh, we gotta have a ukulele. Alright, well, more damage than I was hoping to take right here at the beginning, but we've cleaned a little bit of zombies out of the local neighborhood, so that part's good. Yeah, freshly frozen hot meat was the best. That was pretty good. I mean, the initial froze freeze mechanics, no one's gonna argue there were some pretty hilarious problems with, but uh, I think they've got them mostly sorted out. It seems to work fairly well for what it's designed to do. And it does seem to mitigate with time. I think it's largely more an issue because of... 
the early implementation combined with the long season lengths. So if we were still running on 15 day seasons and it got hot sooner and you didn't have to worry about it constantly, it's just that everybody starts in spring and most people are using the 90 day season. So we're all cold for a really long time. An entire playthrough may go, th go by and you're still seeing frozen stuff at night. So I think it's all just kind of combining a few different mechanics. Uh, window I can't close. No way to get through these. Alright, let's hope nothing gets in line of sight. And shocker zombies. Still across the street. We should be okay there. Hey, bookcase. Hey, bookcase. Thank you. <laughs> Fix that line of sight for me, please. Another soldering iron and a, ooh, a long string. That's what I've been forgetting. I've been forgetting to grab the long strings. What is wrong with me? Detergent! Yay! We finally have some detergent. Uh, so, given that we have detergent, let's smashy smash one of those. Then let's go reopen this window. Then let's stand right here, which is not ideal, and make... Uh, oh, I don't have Fab 1 yet. I need my need my Fab 1 so I can make my washboard. Hmm. 74 focus. We are at Fab 88%. All right, I don't have to make much. Can't do anything from here with what I've got with me. Um, wield, crowbar, Let's make some noise. No, right, what can I do now? Let's just do some more lock picks. There we go. Fab one. Give me my washboard. Now I'm in range of that. Activate the washboard for the rucksack. Oh, 32 charges. Good old not enough charges of water in the toilet. <laughs> uh, love it. Love it. It's not frozen water. So let's see. We've got a basement in the room to the north. Um, I don't have any liquid carrying capacity containers with me currently in can if I eat the salmon but that's not going to hold much that'll be too long to try to do that all right well, well we'll deal with that later I guess while we're here let's grab some stuff copper wire heating elements uh, more scrap metal and steel what kind of basement we got Well, now we got liquid containment. If I can just get between or get to another house, scoop some water up. Don't care. Oh, there we go. Gallon jug of wine. Even better. Hey, zombie. I don't want to play with you. I just want to look around. All right. Looks like that's it. Um, let's. I don't I don't need to fiddle with this guy. And now I can see a bunch of zombies. Hey bloated bloated bloated. <laughs> hmm. Just checking in with chat again. Um, I 
Alright. Um, so, I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to dump the wine. I'm not going to use it. Buy wine. Alright, so we got water in the gallon jug. Next bathroom we come to, we'll uh, get our rucksack cleaned up. So this house is done. Um, I guess we'll try to scoot to this one cleanly, but it's not one of those wide open windows things. Man, I don't like those. A lot of zombies. Hey there, a lot of zombies. A bunch of which can see me. Alright, so now the fun begins. <laughs> We've got triples, acid, shock... I know there's some bloateds over in that area. That whole crowd is going to start moving this way now. So that's not good. Um, I don't want to go near the nameplate for Fayette. If I try to cross the street, that's right towards them. That house has got a garage. The trick now is I don't want to lead these guys back to my base. My little hideout. I don't want to have a whole bunch of zombies swarming around up there. Hmm. Building for beginners. If I move straight into this house, they're going to chase me into that. Then my only other real option would probably be to go like so and hope there's not a ton of zombies right on the nameplate. And then kind of work my way around and then back again. Bookstore, garage. That's asking an awful lot though. Especially with damage I've already taken. lead them to the bandit forest yeah uh yeah fun to do that sometimes but uh yeah that that's pretty dangerous <laughs> this guy's got guns i think they're fixed enough now they actually shoot you so they've been broke for a while just i'm, I'm really undecided how i want to go about to do in this i guess we're gonna try it uh fedora box of reefs give me the book while i'm here Oh, another first aid kit. Another first... What the hell? <laughs> All right. All right. Come on, game world. That says 0.5 item scaling factor. <laughs> 0.5. first aid kits within two spaces. Huh. That's pert darn weird. A Snuggie! Hmm, 50 warmth, torso, arms, and legs. Uh, nah, let's leave the Snuggie. Ah, right, here comes the horde of zombies. Oh, another basement. I don't want macaroni. Spider basement! What kind of spiders? Just give me a sight of one spider. Come on. Oh, I don't want a shady zombie right now. I want to know what kind of spiders are here. Dang it. Stupid interrupting shady zombie. What is this? Can sealer. Uh, don't need another pot. I guess we'll grab the can sealer. Well, here's a possible meat source. But I didn't get to see what kind of spiders. Makes a difference for me. I absolutely hate giant cellar spiders. If it's black widows, I'll go in there and slaughter them no problem. If it's giant cellar spiders, I avoid. Hate those things. Alright, haven't been to the other parts of the building here, but I'm getting a little worried about what's coming. we got a smoke zombie out that way, and that herd down south should be coming my direction. So, I think I'm going to back out of here. Yep, hey there, zombies. Hey 
Hey there, lots of zombies. I need to go this way. Then this way. Let's go... Back out this way. Alright, what's in... What's in sight? Survivor zombie in the vehicle! Don't care about the possum. What do we got? Feral runner still chasing me down. Standard zombie can see me. Nothing else can see me currently. This is quote unquote my house coming up here. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to wait right here. Let's see, is it just that guy? Just those two? Alright, let's dump stuff right here temporarily. <clears throat> Kill these guys following me so they don't come up and break my windows and all that stuff. All right, clean otherwise? I think we're clear otherwise. Check some vehicles. We know the bubble car is no good. Road roller, eh. I've died a few times on a road roller. This one's actually got the drums on it. Engine is okay. Might be drivable. Mm, yeah, it's got diesel. Possible. Nope, don't wield the first aid kit. Apparently I am overloaded again. Alright, well, we've got nobody coming after us. Go ahead and dump our inventory again. Oops, keep that. We're up to what, like five first aid kits already? Alright, let's go find the bathroom here. Hey there, other Taylor's kit. <laughs> They're just falling from the sky. Uh, alright, unload a gallon jug of cold water into, uh, sorry, unload gallon jug of cold water onto the ground there. So I just dumped water into the toilet, so now it holds 39. Now we're going to activate our washboard in our military rucksack. There we go. We now have a clean military rucksack. Yay. Now it'll get, sh it'll get ripped off my body here pretty quick. Now that I went through that hassle. And we've still got seven more water in the toilet. Pour that back into the gallon jug. So, if you weren't aware, you can uh, move water from toilet to toilet <laughs> and fill it up with more water in case you need a certain amount to uh, clean items. It's about the only time that's useful. Alright, we'll fill that back up. Grab the long strings that I keep forgetting to grab. Okay, let's have, um, what's going to go bad first? Bread? Hamburgers? Alright, let's have some hamburgers. And some soda. A little unhappy about our torso and arm health, of course. I don't have any bandages yet. Um, I haven't set up the brazier. I really don't like setting up in basements. They're much safer, but the hassle of moving... Oh, crap. Dang it. <laughs> just noticed what's to my west. Apparently we stepped just far enough to the west to uncover another building.
Oh, well, we have a mansion nearby. And it's right near the ed or the edge of this big town we're in. And mansions don't usually have high-level zombies. Just a bunch of low-level stuff. Hmm. Relocating to the mansion, given the current setup, is probably going to be ideal. Hopefully there's a pool room I can set up in, so it's easy access to water for cleaning, crafting, cooking, and so on. We'll have access to a city north, access to this big, huge city here, just really quickly. We can roam out from the mansion easily. So, that's, that's our target. We're going to go into the mansion. Absolutely no reason not to. So I'm not going to get a fancy setup here. I would actually like to fall asleep right now. Well, let's see how to do this. I'd like to get another sleep period in before I go out because uh, our damage is getting a little too low. So I think I'll set up down here for just a bit. We'll get some crafting done, get some organizing done. Try to sleep as early as we can. And then uh, we'll make a trip over to the mansion. I think that'll be much better for us. I can confirm I've been shot at recently by the NPCs. Yeah, I was pretty sure they got fixed at least enough to defend themselves and all that. <laughs> you made the giant cellar spiders, did you? My only issue with them is in the past when I was doing things like my old style uh, Zweek Wan runs where you would get into that stun counter lock with giant cellar spiders, the infinite lock, <laughs> and it would just, as soon as you met one or a couple of them and it started into that cycle, <laughs> you had no controls whatsoever and it would just... Super speed the game, make horrendous noises, and you'd be dead <laughs> with no actions available. So, little things are just... There's still some funky things about how fast those things are, but... Alright. Do, do, do. Yeah, so I avoid the giant cellar spiders. The other types, no problem, but the GCSs, God, I hate those things. So yeah, we're going to stay safe down here for a bit. So let's go ahead and deploy a few things. Uh, let's activate the brazier. Get that down. Go ahead and mark a firewood source. Go get... Oh, I totally forgot about that gallon jug. Alright. Die, stupid counter. <laughs> All right, plenty of two by fours. <clears throat> do, do, do. Use our fancy matchbooks. We have light. Um, so, we got stuff. We got a lot of stuff. For anybody that just joined, that that I have highlighted is what dropped off the very first zombie we killed, a shady zombie in the hospital. It was start game, open door, kill shady, toolbox. <laughs> I've been waiting for the uh, hammer of... <clears throat> RNG retribution to fall upon me after that little thing happened. So, <laughs> couldn't believe it. First, Shady Zombie, just open door, Shady Zombie steps into the room, kill it, and there's a toolbox. <laughs> so, I, I know I'm going to pay for that at some point, but we haven't had to yet. Alright, let's get some makeshift bandages put together. Tailoring skill. What's our focus? 135, actually. Cool. Let's wield a uke. Where'd my uke go? Where are you, ukulele? Down on the list. Down on the list. I uh, should have just picked it up first. <laughs> there you are. Activate Mr. Ukulele. 
Ah, now we're jamming to the tunes. We also have uh, Toastum. Oh, it wasn't. It's not the good Toastums. It's not strawberry. What else? Some cocaine? Plus 25? Fruit jam. Ooh, no, I don't want to crack the fruit jam open. Let's just stick with what we got there. All right, makeshift bandages. Give me... Whoops, I need rags. All right, we got to go upstairs and get a bunch of rags. I'm going to need rags and thread for this basic stuff. So let's stop jamming with the uke. Go get us some rags. Die, stupid bed, die. Um, take the pillow downstairs. No other bedrooms here. Other place. A little tiny bedroom there and there. Um, nah, we'll we'll be fine without. Sure, wish you could haul downstairs. Sure would be nice. Oh, man. Somebody breaking in from up there, huh? I'm a little nervous because of the uh, shock zombies, shocker brute, and all that stuff in the area. Hey there, Scientific Gospel. It's going good. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, horseshoe man. <laughs> for anybody that's just joined in here semi-recently... Anytime you join one of my Cataclysm streams, you can use a few commands. They're listed in the name of the uh, Twitch stream. Challenge. We'll give you an overview of what my theme challenge is. Whoops. Got to spell it right, though. There we go. <laughs> Mod list. We'll tell you what mods I'm running. And settings. We'll give you the world settings. So, feel free to use that whenever you need to. If you join in and want to know kind of what's going on in general. And also what world settings I'm using. But yeah, we are a uh, dragon-style Shaolin monk, and we are trying to go full-on micus. We're going to embrace the power of the fungus and see if we can work our way through the entire micus mutation tree. All right, let's get our uke back out. Uh, did I bring back no ropes? Yeah, no ropes. I only have, what, two strings? That's fine. Let's chop these things up. I think that'll be enough for the moment. All right, we got rags, we got string, we got thread. Now let's get our bandages done. Let's do 10. There is tailoring level one. Let's apply the bandages. Actually, no. How many first aid kits have we found? Five. <laughs> Five first aid kits. It's day two. Five first aid kits on a 50% item spawn. So, let's grab a first aid kit. We'll use real bandages. No no sense applying these makeshift ones. Don't need to carry that around. Don't need that anymore. Activate first aid kit. Grab the junk. All right, so we're going to bandage our torso and bandage our arm. We have no timekeeping ability yet either. Focus is good. It is nighttime. Ooh, yeah. Hmm. A bunch of time went by.
really want to take advantage of this uh, focus, but I also want to get my day-night cycle kind of flipped a little bit. <clears throat> hey there, mighty Guga. Yeah, the uh, firewood source means that uh, when you've got a marked source and you put wood items on it, it'll automatically feed them into the fire. When you're doing actions that uh, take time, like reading a book or crafting, that way your light doesn't go out while you're doing that action. Some things it doesn't do it for, like repair. Um, I think there's one other one I've forgotten now. But uh, for the two big ones, repairing or reading and crafting, it will basically keep the fire going for you. It's both a blessing and a curse. You also don't want to forget you have uh, have that set up when you're doing things near your fire that you have daylight for already. <laughs> so you don't want to be burning firewood automatically using that feature when you've got broad daylight that you're also standing in. So you got to be a little careful about how you use it. Do -do -do. It doesn't feed it in continuously. It only feeds it in if you are performing an action in the fire area or in the range of the fire that is causing time to go by where you would be interrupted if the fire were to go out. So as long as I'm not doing one of those actions, it's not going to feed anything into the fire and it'll eventually go out on its own. So it, it only feeds the fire when it's necessary while you're performing a long time action. Do do do. And again, check my YouTube channel. <laughs> I have a quick tip on it. It explains all about it, how to do it, why to do it, all that good stuff. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen my YouTube channel, I am literally the university that that's my stuff <laughs> i make the university series i make the quick tip series so it's hard to avoid me if you search for anything on youtube or google with cataclysm related especially tutorials content type stuff usually i'm one of the ones you're gonna find um so what are we doing i'm trying to figure out if i'm gonna stick around i want to try to sleep right now do i have any cough syrup of the um Unleaded variety? Nope, all I've got's non-drowsy. Hmm. I'd like to get Trying to decide sleep. Try to sleep now. I don't think it's gonna let me. I think I'm gonna try though. All right, let's dump the ukulele again. Do do no ukulele for you. We're gonna try to sleep upstairs. By the way. Oh, still light out. All right, we'll close these doors. I'll hear if anything tries to come for me. Dump the pillow back here. Did I bring it? Nope, I left it downstairs. All right. Give me pillow, give me blankets. All right, our sleeping spot's ready to go. We've got a hidey hole to jump into if things go bad. I think I will do something real quick. It's just not quite dark yet, so let's level tailoring first. I think that's gonna be the more important. So, leg warmers, arm warmers. Mm -hmm. Four rags, six rags. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Let's do six. Failed. We made it to 69%. So we're going to need four more, I believe. All right. That's tailoring two. Next up. Um. <laughs> Nope, balaclava. And balaclava.
And I'm on Balaclava. Oh. 99%. <laughs> Course. There we go. There's tailoring three. And that would let me start repairing the backpacks or making backpacks. Now we can make backpacks, so that's good. Can't do rucksacks, and I don't think I can repair the rucksack yet either without damaging it. So if we activate repair rucksack, yeah, 3.2 damage. So we're not good enough to repair the rucksack quite yet. Um, let's step back upstairs. All right, so it's about 9, 10 a.m., something like that. Back down. Let's have... What were we eating? Oh, yeah, hamburgers. And I don't have a large amount of clean water yet. i got to take care of that. i got to get a gallon jug. One of these gallon jugs full of clean water. We've got regular water. we got water. we got ammonia. Um, I'm not planning on doing mutations this run because the micus is going to overwrite everything. So I don't need the... Um, well... I got. I need ammonia for other things. Hmm. Let's just not worry about it. Let's just do some water, just a small amount, just to get rid of the thirst. And one bread. All right, next up is the boonie hat. That one takes a little while. Yep, 25 minutes per attempt. We're going to burn some time doing that. Hold off on that one. I want to do one more before I go to sleep, so we'll do some fab. Uh, What's up for fab? I forget the progression again like I always do. Uh, needle. Wooden needle. That's what we want, right? No, not wooden needle. Knitting needle. And we need more splintered wood. No problem. Either two by four. Whoops. Turn your two by fours. Butcher it all. There's fab two. After that, you. Staff and spindle. Just missed it. What do we missed it by? Fab 88%. Probably two more. There's Taylor Fab 3. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Get rid of those. Cut up everything. How are we doing for time? All right, time to go to sleep. All right, so there we go. We started with only combat skills, six unarmed, three dodge, and uh, two melee. So we're up to, what, three fab, three tailoring? Those are pretty good benchmark numbers to get to. And we got survival two out in the forest when we first came over this way. Uh, for day two, we are really well outfitted. So we just got a few more important things to get taken care of. But let's try to sleep. See if we get interrupted. ha. <laughs> You so funny, Remo. <laughs> Running the Cataclysm Stories mod, are we? <laughs> yeah, I do uh, have hopes or plans to do that kind of thing for Cataclysm. I'll have to manually implement it because I have no programming skills, but uh, that'll be fun. See if I can get Nightbot to tell me who is voted for the most, and then I'll have a little chart that I just uh, kind of roll something on, and we have some kind of an event. That'd be kind of fun. It's going to take some figuring how to get that organized, though. I'll probably ask for some suggestions and ideas on the events to do uh, on my Discord channel when I start working on it.
Okay, hungry, thirsty, should be morning time. Let's have, what's up next? Everything else is going to last a decent amount. We'll have the salad. And, hmm, excuse me, let's cook up some eggs. These are going to go bad before I use them anyway. Oh, that's right, I can do the wild vegetables now. Are those things still good? They're mushy, but they're still good. Cool. Get those cooked up. And cooking skill increased. How about... Uh, just regular scrambled eggs? Regular and deluxe are the same, huh? Still both one. Alright, we'll, we'll level up off some eggs. If we fail, we fail. I don't want to use the deluxe right now, though. And we failed, but didn't waste. And we got the eggs. Cool. Alright, so we got veggies and eggs. That's pretty good. Have a little bit of both. Pick up some water, get us slaked. Three should do it. And stick the rest in that jar. Oh, thought I did slake me, but I did not. Uh, clean water, hot. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're full and slaked. Focus is okay. Health is perfect. Stats are good. No negative traits to worry about. So everything's looking great there. Now, we have two tasks. The goal is to get to the mansion as cleanly as possible. Clear it, and then get all of our gear over there and kind of set up in the mansion. Um, when we get closer, we'll see what's around it. Hopefully I don't see like an acid ant hill right off the uh, other side of it or anything stupid like that. That would suck. But we need to do a scouting run, clearing run first. So, what don't we need to take with us? We definitely don't need a bunch of knitting needles. We're going to toss those in the fire. I don't need my tailor's kit. Don't need two matchbooks. I'm going to take the food, and I do want to get some water. Clean water. How many gallon jugs do I have? Um. Alright, we'll cook. Let's see how to do this. I want to make sure I use the right water source, so give me that one. Drop that over here out of range. Put that water up. Pour that into the O3 oh, liters fine. And that should leave me an empty gallon jug. It did. Grab that. And that. This probably wouldn't have mattered in which direction I did it, but However, all right, cook it all and pour it into a gallon jug. Uh, all right, so if we take the water and the food, and we've got our clean rucksack on, I'm not going to try to clean anything else for the moment, although backpack and the headlamp are the only other items. Um, I'm not going to need the headlamp. And I can make backpacks brand new so that filthy one's no longer relevant. Let's actually do that. Let's make a backpack for backup. And we'll throw that on as well. Alright, what's that do to our encumbrance? 57? Yeah, that's a bit much. So, we actually don't need to wear that second one for now. We've got enough carry capacity. We can just hold on to it until we need it. And or until the military rucksack gets ripped off of us. Drop the other gallon jug, and anything else I want to take. Inventory, everything. So, we've got an emergency weapon, which I'm not likely to ever use, but whatever, we'll carry it. Uh, we've got lockpicks, crowbar. How do I keep picking up this extra matchbook? <laughs> um, I don't have my steak knife with me. Where'd my steak knife go? Hey, steak knife. Alright, we've got the steak knife and scalpel for dissecting and butchering. Toolbox for lots of stuff. What is the toolboxes? Yeah, it won't do either. Alright, that's what I thought. Won't do either well. Alright. Uh, food and water. Medical gear. I've got disinfectant with me. We don't have antibiotics yet, but the chances of me getting infected at this point are vanishingly small. Um, so I'm not too worried about not having antibiotics. 
We've got heavy pain, well, moderate painkillers and light painkillers and some pet pills, both caffeine and cocaine versions. Um, let's see, don't need, don't need, likely to find there. Let's keep carrying the, tel the stethoscope just in case. Oh yeah, I should uh, check my books. Let's do that. Let's do this real quick. See what my book list looks like. I usually don't try to do a bunch of book reading until I've secured a fairly strong reading list, or a fairly strong um, food stockpile. So, early computers, early first aid, early mechanics. <laughs> we could knock those out right now before we even left. Pretty much do this whole thing. The only thing we've got really is first aid that's going to take any amount of time. Focus a 120, huh? Alright, do the first aid book. Do the... Optimum Mechanics book. And do... The handgun book. Alright, now we're down to just computers and first aid. Computers is useless until I get it up to like three or six so I'm not in a big hurry to read that one. First aid would be nice but not super critical at this point although if I do want to dissect anything nah let's let's wait what time is it oh crap mm, we burn most of the day which actually is probably a good thing for what we're doing all right that's fine let's let's read some more book Now nah, focus is low now, let's not. Alright, let's have some more eggs and veggies before they go bad on me. Alright, so we've got our gear. We've got some food and water and all the good stuff, so we should be able to take off pretty quick now. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere near those bandits. <laughs> Absolutely nothing would send me up to those guys. <laughs> nope, not going to do it. <laughs> no reason to. No benefit. All downside. All right. Let's see here. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to move off. Let's go out the north window. Uh, carry capacity is good, stats are good, we're pretty well outfitted, so let's get moving. We'll use the buildings as cover as far as we can, which means right out this way. Hey there, possum. Oh yeah, I forgot about the light tank. Let's go take a look at the light tank. How much diesel are you going to give me, light tank? Uh, not bad. What is that? About 60 liters or so, a little over 60 liters. But no treads, can't move anywhere. Um, we do have the uh, M2 Browning, so we've got a location for that, and it does have the uh, ammo for it, so great. I will grab one of the pairs of earplugs. All right, what you got? Diesel on the ground, primers and uh, heat rounds, frag rounds. 